It is so hot out here. Let's get you back in the house while I clean out your cage so you can stay cool. Rabbit bedding and rabbit manure are amazing in the garden and in the compost. But what if you can turn it into something more? Everyone has a story. And every story counts. Welcome to another fun episode of Monday Meetups. In this episode, Bo Brotherton from Better Together Life shows us how he pairs his rabbits, their manure, with his worm bin. Hey all you Daddy Curbs fans. My name is Bo Brotherton and I'm from the Better Together Life channel. I'm just super honored to be able to be helping y'all with the video today here on the Monday Meetup. So today I'm going to be going over how to make a worm bin. This is kind of how a little bit of my process whenever I start a new worm bin. It's not going to go over all the details, but we're going to go over some of the basics, what kind of bin you want to use, bedding that I use, and then a little bit of tips from how I pair my rabbits with my worms. All right, let's do it. So what you're going to need with building a worm bin is you're going to need a bin. You're also going to need some bedding. I have shredded some cardboard boxes. We eat a lot of Costco pizza. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to put it in water and soak it for 24 hours. You want it to be super duper moist and just all wet because the worms are gonna like it. They don't wanna like sit in water, but they do like it moist and this kind of gives it a head start. Then also, if you soak it overnight, you can set in the sun and you can get all the bad chlorine and chemicals out of it if you have city water like us. So the number one thing about a bin is you do not want it to be clear. Worms do not like light. Repeat, worms do not like light. So they like it nice and cozy and dark. Bedding, a worm bin, you're gonna need some worms. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a drill. You just need some kind of drill uh, and a bit. My preferred bit is a 5 16th. I actually do like the size of it. I didn't know the actual, like the, anyway, I didn't know the fractions. Then what you're gonna do is just gonna start drilling. You're also gonna want some on the sides here to get airflow. Okay, then you're gonna do the exact same for the lid. That's pretty good. All the holes all around. Now, when you're putting the holes on the sides here, you just want them up at the top of the bin. You don't want them here at the bottom. Depending on how you're doing with your worms, worms are gonna to try to get out of here from time to time. So if it's down here, then they're definitely gonna to try to get out. Got the bin. Now we need some worms and bedding and food. All right, so let's start to compare a new bin here with a already existing established bin. It's been a while since I opened this. So as you can tell, uh, there is, I've not done a good job taking care of this bin. There should be bedding on top. All of this in here, that is just pure worm poop, worm compost, vermicompost, whatever you wanna call it. This is what they say, black gold. All right, so typically what I like to do whenever I'm starting a new bin is take some of the existing bin and put it into the new bin. Worms and all. That way, they're kind of used to the home that you've already given them. And then you're gonna put them kind of on one side. Now what I really like to do before I do this, I like to put one of these in between the bin, like separating the bin. You have that divider that helps you know which one to feed, so you put all your veggie scraps 
in this side or whatever kind of whatever you're feeding them on this side. And on this side, they're going to eat it and they're going to let it decompose and then slowly they'll migrate over and they'll eat that one. And then this one will decompose to become your compost. Just a little divider. This is our rabbits. Rabbits make a whole lot of poop. That's why I like pairing rabbits with vermicompost is because the worms just love the rabbit poop. Everything about gardening loves the rabbit poop. So it's been 24 hours. Our shredded cardboard has been soaking and we're gonna go ahead and put this as a top layer bedding. I'm gonna go ahead and get as much of the excess water out because you don't want to drown your worms. Pick it up and squeeze it and then that's pretty much the consistency that you're going to want as your bedding. Same thing of any kind of soil, you just you want it moist but not wet. But the number one tip that I can give you is once you've done everything for your bin, you want it to be in light because you want the worms to be down. You want them to stay down and to dive down into the compost. Of course, like I said, I didn't do a very good job with that because I put them at the bottom and I forgot about that. So yes, your worms are gonna like a dark space like in a basement. They wanna have a lid on it because they want it to be dark and you want the light off. But when you first start, they really get, they kind of get scared and they don't really know where their home is. It's, it's, it's bizarre. They will try to escape. They don't know what to do with this place. So that is why you want to keep a light on them. Uh, whenever I first started, I started in the winter here in Houston and I had them in our garage and I just put it on a table right underneath a light, just a normal fluorescent light. And I did that for probably three to five days. And then eventually they just took and they started multiplying like crazy and started having lots of baby worm eggs. You're gonna get worms either online. I got it from a farmer's market. I paid, I think, $25 for a quarter of a pound of red wigglers. And they've lasted and multiplied to where I'm now gonna have five bins, I think. Thank you everybody for checking out this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing it. <laughs> and just uh, thank you Blake for allowing us to be a part of the Monday meetups. We just love your community. This is so cool. All right, see you later. Thank you Bo for sharing that time with us and sharing your gifts, your knowledge and your passion with us here on the Daddy Curbs Farm for this Monday meetups. I love it when we can find ways to connect a waste resource from one thing and connect it to something else and make a beautiful resource for our gardens and our farms. I do hope to someday make a worm bin. I haven't gotten around to that yet, but when I do, I'm going to remember those tips and tricks that you just shared with us. If you have not yet subscribed to Better Together Life, head on over to his channel. The link is in the description below. Give him multiple thumbs ups across multiple videos in his channel and let him know that Daddy Curbs sent you. If you haven't subscribed to Daddy Curbs Farm yet, go ahead and do that and you'll get notifications in your inbox about my upcoming videos. Also, give me a thumbs up and that lets YouTube know that you appreciate what's going on here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. Thanks again for joining me in this episode of Monday Meetups. I'll talk to you soon. Rabbit, hold on, hold on. Rabbit bedding and rabbit manure is wonderful in the garden. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie, you made that video a little bit difficult getting in the way there. You're trying to get some of that rabbit pellets that was left over, huh? You're still pretty. You're still fun. Love you, sweetie.